welcome back to my channel everyone. Thank you so much for tuning in. Today, it is Sunday, at least on the day that I'm filming this, and it is long run day for me, and I thought I'd film this one because it will be the last long run that I'm doing down here on the trails in Dorset in at least a few months, and I'm so excited to get out. It's also the first sunny day in a while, which is a bit of a godsend because it has been like sleeting and raining kind of ice water. I know that is called snow. Um, but it hasn't actually been snow, it's just felt super icy recently. And finally today, although it's absolutely freezing cold outside, literally, it is sunny. So we're going to be heading down on one of my favourite routes that actually we haven't done for several months recently because it gets super busy in the summer and especially this year we were trying to avoid very, like, very narrow trails and the southwest Coast Path is one of those very, very narrow trails, although it is one of my favourite. But this one that we're doing heads down to West Bay, which is about a five kilometre run down there, which is where they filmed Broadchurch, which is where everyone seems to recognise it from, although I've never actually watched it. And then you head west along the Cliff Path, and it's absolutely beautiful. If you've watched any of my vlogs before, you will know that the Coast Path down here is gorgeous. If you haven't watched any of my vlogs before, hit that subscribe button, go and check them out, there are so many to catch up on, and this one's going to be a good one because it is a beautiful day, we're heading running, that's what I love to do, both of those things, so I'm going to bring you along with me and hopefully not die along the way. I'm not really sure how far we're going today, as per usual we will probably get lost and we're kind of not really setting out any particular distance, but it's a long run day so it'll be anywhere between sort of 14 and 16 kilometres probably. But last time I said that we ended up doing 12 and the time before we ended up doing 18 so who knows but either way it's going to be wonderful and I'm very much looking forward to it and on Tuesday we will be heading up to Bristol so as I mentioned I won't be doing this route or any of the runs around here for a few months although of course I will be heading back down here as soon as I possibly can once everything starts heading back to normal again so without further ado I am going to bring you along with me it is so sunny and so cold outside here with Fee Hello. <laughs> um, we're going nice and slowly today because Fian hurts from going to the gym and I'm lazy so you know taking it easy take a look at that weather oh it's so pretty and we're discussing potential improvements that we can make to our new home um, as and when we get there which is very exciting to think about although to be honest, when we move in, we're planning on living there for quite a long time before making any changes because I think that way you can figure out kind of what's best to do versus what you kind of actually don't really need to do. You can kind of make do with whatever you've got and that way you can get the most bang for your buck when you eventually do do renovations. But it's perfectly big enough for us and perfectly good enough for us probably for quite a long time now. But Fian wants a bigger workshop, so I think that's the next thing that we're going to do. This is nice. New for you. Bye, gang. Bit mucky. How are you feeling? Not too bad. Leg doms are starting to ease. Good. Slightly. They'll come back. 3k in. Yeah. Very nice. Right, we are three and a half kilometers in and already going the wrong way because our normal footpath is closed and never been this way before we've already seen emus actual emus down there so I don't know what's going on but it's a fun path so far finally found where we're supposed to be going <laughs> that's our hill um, and somehow we're not on the coast path but we will be soon enough there we go Woo! Very, very 
slippery path. <laughs> Nearly fallen over several times. Vian has fallen over once. This is fun. <laughs> horrible feeling after all the climbing we've done to get to the top of the cliffs we're steadily going all the way back down to sea level <laughs> this is disastrous this is how slowly we're going up the hills today <laughs> about as slow as you can run I'm not sure even counts as a run but it's good going up. It's called Thorncombe. It's an absolute hellhole. Hell hill, I guess. <laughs> um, we haven't done it in a very long time because it's horrible. New. <sighs> Stay away from that edge. Ooh. Looks like one extremely large ski jump. Except you don't get momentum to go up it. You just have to climb. And off he goes, up the hill. Hmm. Succumb to the walking. That is Thornken Beacon. And that is the hill that we just did. You can't even see it, it's so steep. It's like a cliff. That a cliff. <laughs> and that is a cliff. Oh, I feel slightly nervous here. <laughs> it's got a safety barrier, it must be safe. <laughs> yeah, they don't often fall into the sea at all. Uh -oh. We have decided to cut inland. We're going to go to Colmer's Hill, which is very steep, very lovely. That's where we came from. The alternative is running all the way to Seaton or Sea Town. You can go to Seaton if you want. Sea Town, <laughs> which is quite a lot longer. Uh, so we're not going to do that because we have to get back for the rugby. We'll do that at some point. We have done that before, I think, but it is a very long way. It's like. Was it 23k or something? Yeah, about that. Yeah, yeah. Whoa. Whoa. Ho, ho. What a beautiful day. I will miss this. What, 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 what? Uh oh. You are very cute. I really want to take a photo of you. Please don't run away. <laughs> oh, that's messy. The camera goes flying, you know what happened. That's the hill we'll be going up. This is the hill we're currently going very down. And it's quite slippery. Taking new routes, old ones are overgrown. Oh my god. Okay. We know most of this route, but since it's got very mucky, there are certain bits that you have to change. This tree fell over in March when we last did this route, but they've chopped it so you can still get through. That's quite fun though. See it again, huh? Yeah, very nice. But yeah, we came here obviously for lockdown. Um, there's our hill and the day before we did this exact route, almost the exact route, um, all the tr there was a massive storm and a whole load of trees fell down, which is quite fun. Blocked our route but made it all the more exciting. Hi sheepies! Hi! It's very nice though. Lovely little route. We are 10 kilometers in, just about to turn back on ourselves to go up uh, 
that hill, commas. Feeling a little bit tired, but taking it super easy today, which is very nice, makes for a nice change, because this week I just did, well, a ploddy 5K and then a 10K interval session, which made me very tired. So I've had a few days off, whoop. Anyway, we don't really have much choice with the pace, because as you can see, it's pretty mucky. Mmm. Yum, yum, yummy. Mm. <laughs> Such sticky mud. Whoop, whoop, whoop. Oh, bloody hell. We go the way you don't. Ah! Right. It's much easier just to run through it. Hey, there we go. For good reason, it's horrible. <sighs> I'm very pleased with myself. <sighs> it wasn't very nice. <laughs> well done. As Fian says, what goes up must go very much back down again. <laughs> this is how I break my shoes. up last week's long run with this week's long run which is immensely satisfying I absolutely love connecting up old paths and new paths um, we're not too far from home now which is a good thing because we're both a little bit tired and extremely hungry as always last few hundred meters uh, sun is still shining legs are still just about moving um, we've been so lucky with the weather actually because yesterday it was horrible 15 kilometers done Yay, we can walk now. <laughs> Stretch out the legs before getting home. Dean and a bit kilometers done. How are you feeling? Uh, okay, my legs are dead. <laughs> it was and nice though, wasn't it? It was, beautiful. Yeah, it was about 424 kilometer, kilometers. <laughs> oh, tired. <laughs> nice, easy 400k. <laughs> easy, fine, that's our last run ever. Um, 424 meters of elevation gained, which was pretty good. Uh, took, us, took us a hell of a long time to do it, um, which was very enjoyable. It's nice to run at an easy pace and not try and do everything as fast as possible, which we could not, even if we had wanted to, which we did not. So. Just walking the last bit back up home, like to, on our longer runs, walk at least a kilometre back to stretch the legs and chill out a little bit. Yeah, we cool need to down. Chill out, cool down. And then um, in about five minutes, it's time for rugby. Oh. We were just discussing how every time we come back from a run, one of us is like, oh, that was really nice. And the other one's like, oh, I hated it. Felt really tough. My turn to hate it today. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Um, I think it's because obviously we always run at the same pace like the same pace as each other, which is limited by the person who's feeling more tired usually. And that person will always find it much harder. And then the other person who's got a nice easy run, which was me today, <laughs> feels so much better. I'll get you back on the next one. <laughs> I don't doubt it. I'm looking forward to that. But that is it for this week's vlog. We are gonna go inside, drink tea, eat cake and be merry. Pack. And pack for our move. This is the last long run down here in Dorset in a while. Although of course, as I mentioned before, I will be back down here quite a lot. And this is where Fian does all of his fossil hunting. So um, we will inevitably be back 
very soon if we can but please do give this a thumbs up if you enjoyed it hit the subscribe button to see all of our new routes when we get to Bristol and there are many many lovely routes um, in Bristol and I think that is it thanks again for watching and I will see you next time bye